Chang, Joe Sohei, Eugene, and the old master. Today, Patrick and me are very glad to have the new IoT application smart devices. Uh, let's take a look at uh, today's agenda. In the first agenda, I will introduce our latest Things Master IoT platform, uh, Industrial IoT latest platform. Then the next topic, I'll, uh, I'll use, introduce the Things Master OTA advantage or over the last advantage. And then I will be, I will share with a success a case study, a very successful story about uh, our Taipei Metro system. We all did uh, successful, successfully deploy uh, the new our router and OTA solution this, uh, for this in this quarter. And then the next topic, uh, Patrick will will demo smart surveillance system uh, live demo. Uh, you will you will demo the things faster and also WR three two nine uh, PA uh, with sensors and uh, IPK. And then the next demo will be, uh, Patrick will demo you the uh, Things Master OTA over QNAME LAS uh, live demo. Let's go to the uh, first slide. Uh, this is the Things Master, the latest uh, IoT platform. Uh, this platform, uh, we are uh, focusing on some of the industrial application areas. It, it includes the smart factory and the industrial I4.0 and it's Design fit uh, the smart energy, and also uh, uh, for uh, smart metering, and also uh, for smart bus tracking system, smart water control system, so within a smart for the uh, smart environment control, uh, smart farming, and we uh, then for these applications we see uh, what things master cloud service provide. We provide some of the features. Visualization dashboard. In a visualization dashboard, we visualize and monitor and control an event record here. And then for the video audio surveillance, we provide one an okay, via VoIP is by using the H.264 and SIP technology. This data feature will demo this part. And then it also included the AI technology in the AI module inside our Things Master Cloud service. Uh, this is for data analyze. For the sensors data, uh, we are not, uh, we are can spread, visualize for this book. And also we can save it in the database. And also we can uh, data analyze. This is we, uh, this the, our AI data analyze. This is by the machine learning, this, this module. And also for the database service, uh, in is the, uh, the most popular, like Mongo, MySQL, these databases are supporting our this master cloud service. And also customer uh, management cloud. We provide a uh, multi-tenant, multi-project, and also in the management. <coughs> and uh, in the event, the location part, you can see right now we already integrate name us. So we can, we, we support, for example, email, Skype, Facebook, and also SMS message here. And also uh, this container, we support uh, Docker and LXC technology. This can uh, provide optimized cloud service performance. This is we equate with QNAP. This to provide a private cloud solution here. Uh, for private, for some of customers, they can use the public cloud. For the public cloud, they uh, they, uh, we provide the uh, Azure, AWS, uh, Ali Cloud, Ali Cloud for the public cloud. For the customers, uh, they prefer to have private cloud solution. We support. Uh, we right now we can integrate. We integrate with the uh, uh, QNAME NAS to provide a private private cloud solution. So right now uh, later uh, we'll show you. Actually, we'll demo you uh, how OTA uh, over is how OTA work over the uh, QNAME NAS private cloud solution. And then from the cloud service, uh, we can see this is our, our AIoT smart gateway and also uh, WR series, SCP series, and also our EC, WR uh, 
EC series, edge computer series, this gateway and edge computer here. Gateway and edge computer, we are we provide MQTT and COAP and also RESTful API for TCP and also it includes TCP uh, communication and UTP communication, and also security. All these communication are encrypted. So this is the solution we provided for the in the gateway. In the gateway. For the edge computer, we support no, no rate. And for the sensor side, this is our sensor provided. So <clears throat> right now you can see we are support not only Mobus, Mobus RTU uh, for the CPU. <coughs> we also support the lower weight, lower weight products. So that means uh, so, so for the lower, for the sensor data also can use the lower weight technology uh, to, to send the sensor data lower weight and lower gateway then to, to our cloud. So in the next phase, our cloud will support lower weight server as well. They will be integrated to our Think Smarter cloud service for the lower weight server. Right now, lower weight uh, gateway already can run on our EC series. So here, this part is ready. Then we are developing the cloud service for the dual web server. This is the uh, Things Master, uh, the technology uh, and the technology we use. Things Master provides end to end VPN technology that is secure multi site management anytime, anywhere, and uh, including the latest POS encryption and X uh, 4509 authentication uh, to protect. Uh, the data transmission. Or well, this is our demo site like for the OTA and things much field side, different field side, thanks to the different sensors, the uh, camera later picture will demo this part uh, for you. Multi site smart surveillance system. And this is a, a overview for the things much OTA device major over the air. Uh, it's interactive uh, mark OTA is active the uh, Monitor dashboard and the map can show the data signal strength and the location of all WR series point. And it provides a page uh, device registration and configuration. And also, alerts can, uh, or can set alerts on critical events to prevent the downtime, the signal strength, low, high. And also, uh, we already deployed uh, this system. Later, I will introduce the IPA Metro system. Running manage heavy metal system for the OTA. So, uh, for the manage hundreds of our WR312 router already. This is a typical uh, the, the, uh, application for the OTA over QNAP NAS. For the uh, customer, they choose to use the private cloud solution uh, uh, because some of the customers they don't want data to send to the public cloud. Uh, they can keep the data uh, to the inside company. So this is the reason we, we uh, the OTA combined with the QNAP NAS. Thus, uh, then this this one we put this is the uh, actually this is our demo site. Demo site is running part. So you can see the field site different field site can send the uh, sensor data to the LT or NBIOT. MQTD or Presswell API and the CIP to the cloud. Here, yeah, this master. And then the cloud then can use the HTTP web uh, anywhere and to, see all the, to check all the status, money, all the status. And you may also notice uh, our router uh, have the logo for 5G. Right now, our WR39 already for 5G uh, features. I mean, that means uh, it's the private uh, LTE PRS. And then this is uh, uh, how uh, how to deploy uh, OTA uh, with the NAS system. Uh, it's very easy. A uh, later picture will uh, show you the installation, how, uh, <coughs> how the download from the APE center and to running uh, OTA over the NAS. System. And this is the advantage uh, we take, we, uh, we integrate with QNAP NAS for the OTA 
uh, right now uh, uh, the system can send uh, or uh, email any warnings can send email SMS or uh, instant messaging Skype or Facebook I have also quick service can send for the Tunab now system and this is a Tunab now system of the field center you can see here is this was OTA so very convenient to choose any of the type they want to send so the email the best of message so that's very convenient for customer to choose and this later I show uh, will show uh, the special demo you uh, in OTA uh, OTA uh, is very easy to uh, to, to see the router location and then soon uh, it also can sh in, a, in a, this map the map and also can show the other device information in the model name map address uh, version here uh, nation time uh, nation time you know develop uh, the map also can show the device status online offline the warning states different colors green red orange color and this is to show a zoom in uh, device view the things must all together three on the map <coughs> uh, if a uh, customer want to ch check uh, the orange uh, orange means only very convenient to uh, click on the map and see the warning what's the warning what happened ever happened uh, this device this router very convenient to see and then uh, this uh, I'll go, I'm going to introduce the latest case study for the type metro system this portal uh, this is the, uh, the type metro system we can see this is ESIS system and uh, right now it's already deployed hundreds of a2 wr 312 gr router i use a wireless wireless router and then you can see this is a point in each of the train where each of the train will use one router and then and then all the control data just in the train will control data to the, to the router then router will use OG and the data to the router then the data to the firewall, then to the control center. In this, in this application, in this case, requires uh, high DPM performance. So, 329, 312 by over uh, 60 megabps at AES 560 push this type of DPM performance. And also, uh, this master OTA is used in IP metro control center. You can see this is running this master OTA right now, type of metro system. Right now, this one OTA manage over manage over hundred over hundreds of uh, WR three one two GR router right now. And also important is each of train will send the control data to the control center every second, every second. So that means uh, we already deployed several deployed. Our solution, IP uh, Metro, and then we uh, we we test it over months. No any data loss. This system is a very successful story. Show. And then this is uh, uh, the uh, we provide uh, some of the advanced OTA features for the IP Metro system. We provide uh, like audit management, advanced audit management. For example, uh, we recall. All the managed IP ever managed IP uh, for, the, for the source IP address and also time, they are timestamp time stamp for the audio logs and also all the modifications are records. Are records. And also, we support for the OTA for the 3G, 4G, LTS, LTE uh, traffic statistics daily, weekly, and monthly that provide a ranking of usage. Ranking of usage. You can see this place, this can be ranking uh, for the usage of this traffic, traffic. And also we support daily 3G, 4G, LT signal and quality statistics. Oh, uh, this, this is LT signal and quality, quality statistics. And also we can generate, generate, export the report in a CSV. Right. So that would be convenient for the administrator to check this data. And also, 
we can we provide S4 get logs, get logs in statistic report, CSV files. All the event, all the event logs can be exported, export in CSV file. That's very important for the, uh, in this heavy metal system. We are uh, the OTA support these these uh, for the best features for this system. And then the next topic, Patreon will demo you for two topics about smart surveillance system. Hello, everyone. Uh, I will show you two demos today. And uh, for the first demo, uh, I will show you how to configure IP camera and uh, sensor between the double. 9PA and uh, things matter. Okay, so first, first, oh, the first is our demo topology. So you can see we connect the sensor ES104 and uh, one PoE IP camera connect to uh, our WR3259PA. Then we also connect uh, notebook and the running uh, uh, since master and the since master OTA in our VMware. It's just a demo topology. You will reference. Okay, so first uh, we will run the since master at VMware. So first uh, you can download the VMware workstation player in the internet. It has the free version and the professional version. You can just download the free version, enough. And uh, you you need to get the things master fire and fire and uh, license fire. If you want to this fire, you can contact ourselves. Okay, so if you, and then when you download the VMware finish, you can just uh, execute for the install and uh, execute the uh, VMware workstation prayer and then import, import things master.obf file. And uh, after import, your PC can ping uh, 192.168.10.101. It's the default IP address of the master. So we will show you, we will run the VMware workstation. And because it will take a period of time to import, so we, so we already import. So we just uh, click things master, click play virtual machine, and uh, it will take about 30 seconds, 30 seconds to start. We can, uh, we can use the, a pin check the data. It's put up. Okay, so you can see the, the pin already pry from the semester. The first day and the continue. The continue we can uh, open use our browser to open the uh, since master use the uh, IP address of since master with the port ten thousand and uh, use the user the account user and the password user to log in. And after you log in, you can change the IP address gateway and the DNS. If you want to change it, it's optional. And the second, second, you need to check or configure the system time, the system time of the things master correct. And uh, the third, you need to upload the license to the things master. So yeah, we already
Okay, so now we we'll log in to the master webpage. So we can go to the networking and the network configuration and uh, select network interface and uh, select ETH0. And then you just a click, you can change IP address here, and, uh, maybe name mask. And, uh, you can click routing and gateways. You can change gateway here. You can uh, click the hostname and DNS client here. So you can uh, input your DNS here. And in, in the left side, select hardware and the system time. So you can check you can check the system time and uh, our time. It's correct or not. It should be correct. Correct the you are now time. So after your configuration, you can apply and test. And in others, upload and download, uh, you can click the icon and then, then select the the license file of this master just select and open and upload. So finish. So we're back to the PowerPoint. Okay, so now we can uh, configure WR329PA. So uh, the WR329PA only have one serial port. Okay, so first uh, we want to change the serial port, the interface to RS4A5-2YL uh, mode and the uh, Bowray parity data bit. You can see we change the service mode to the MOBUS RTU. Okay. And the second, we need config, uh, config to receive the MOBUS data. So in the IoT MOBUS data, you can see we we added four RTUs left tag here. So we back to the web web UI in the WR329PA. We go to the left side, we select the serial. Okay. We select the serial and the serial ones. You know, now you can change the interface here. Uh, you can select a different mode here. The after select, you can click the submit and uh, go to the, the left side, go to the IoT and the uh, private IoT. You can see, you can see uh, we check the enable and uh, we input, input the IP address of this master here and the port AAA. Three is the default port, and the client ID one and MQTT publish topic also default. Yeah. Okay, and the, you you will uh, import the CA file here. The after you finish, you just check the enable and submit. And the, if your configuration is correct, the connection status will become connected. Of course, of course, we also need, sorry. Uh, of course, we also need to check the system time of WR329PA. It's correct. So we go to the system and uh, the date and time. You can just click the get PC time and the submit. So this is our current time. Okay. And uh, we also need to go to the IoT and the mobile device. Because we already connected the ES104 to our WR329PA, so we can uh, add, add a different left tag here. Okay, so we, we need input to the name humidity and the serial and the left ID POC address 
you can also reference this data in our QIG of ES104. So after you configure, you can check the alive. The alive must, yes, it means your configuration is correct. The, the web will also show you the value, the real time value. Okay. So if you, if you finish, now we can config, config to receive IP camera video stream in semester. So this time we open the browser and use the Latenda 101 and use the admin, the password admin 54321 to log in. And then we will do, we will do in the camera setting and the video stream setting. Okay, so after you log in, we will show the, the in semester. Okay, so you can go to here, the camera setting, you just click and edit. You will see the server and the camera source. The server, the IP address will be the, the in semester address. And then the camera source, the admin, this is the IP ID and the password to log into your IP camera. And the ten dot sixty four, this is the IP address of your IP cam and the port. And after you configuration, you can click settings. Okay, so you will you will receive a confirm message. So now you can you can see the camera screen. So we back to the PowerPoint. So now we want to receive the sensor data in method. Okay. So it's, a, it's a similar with the receive the camera video. You just click the name and the editor. Okay. So show you in the method. So you can see we click the name, okay. edit. You can see here we have input the IP address. So the IP address is you, you need input the, the IP address of WR329PA because we already received more bus data to the 329PA. Okay, you input IP address here and you can see the, the name is in humidity, the, the second humidity. The two name must the same with your setting in the web web GUI. The here it should be the same. You can see we have the temperature and the PN two to five, PN ten. Okay, so you can see the four values is real time. Okay, when they change. The value will also change in the since master. So the, the second demo is uh, connect WRC29PA and uh, since master OTA at the QNAP NAS. Okay, uh, Shang already introduced you the many functions in the since master OTA. So you just open your browser and input the IP address of QNAP, QNAP NAS. And from upper left corner, you just click the APP center and go to the utilities. Then you can find the things master OTA 1.0.7 and click the install. It just like you install the app on your cell phone, very easy. So this is our QNAP NAS. We use the default account and password and mean to log in. And, uh, so you can see, uh, you can see here and uh, click here and click APV center because it needs uh, 
some time, a period of time to install the since master OTF. So we already installed it. So we will just wait the NAS to read the old app because it's much. So you can see the since master is here. If you if you ever install the OTA, you will see the install, but they, we already installed. So this here we see the system should open. So you just uh, click it open, the since master is queued. Okay. But because the the, the since master OTA in QNAP NAS is old version, now we have the new version. So we will use the new version. Show you the demo. Back to the PowerPoint. Uh, so the first uh, we were running the we were running the since master OTA in the VMware workstation. So we back to the uh, VMware and the shut down shut down since master. Okay. Then we change to start up the since master OTA. Select since OTA. The one, the zero, the ten, the our new version. And the same, we click play virtual machine. And uh, it will take about uh, twenty seconds to to boot up the since master OTA. So after the boot up finish. We can just open the browser and the input 192.168.10.3 is the default IP address of this master OTA. Of course, if you just click this master OTA icon. So the first we will use the this admin. It's a super user level account. We will use this account to do some global settings. For example, upload license and make sure that it's pre-date in the future. So, okay, the since method out here already put up finish. So, go to here. That 10, that 3, login. This admin account to login. Uh, we are a long time to no action for it terminal the connection. Okay, so we use the sys admin login so we can see that uh, we can go to the system and the license. And uh, we already import the new trail license. So you can see the uh, then company distributor. The free is the one talent and final, and then you can see the expiry date is the, the last day this year. Okay, in the future, so it's correct. So the next, we 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 need to use the admin level account to log into the since master OTA to management the device. Of course, the the system sys admin level can eight many admin level accounts for, for your project use. Maybe you have different projects. Different projects use different admin accounts. You can manage. So we now we will use another account to log in. We will select a device and the device name and then we will copy the access token to 
will use the access token later. Log out, we use the in. So we will go to the left side, we select the device and select the WR329PA we already create. Of course, you can create much device, many, many devices, as much as you can. So you just click, click happy access token, and so you will receive a confirm message. Okay, so we're back to the PowerPoint. So now continue, we will config WR329PA. So the first, because we will show the GPS information of the V29PA, so we, we connect a, a GPS module switch. So you will, you will see the status is okay. Okay, so you make sure the status is okay. And the second, you need to go to the IoT page and select RMS. RMS to unfit to connect message OPA. And then you need to up, upload the CF file here. Okay, so we back to the WRC IPA. So we go to the GPS. Okay, the GPS, the status is okay. And open the Google map. The map here is our position. Here is I1, Taipei City. Okay, and then we go to the IoT and the RMS. You can see we also input the RMS server, the IP address here, 10.3. It's the default IP address of the CMS OTA. And the poll, AAA3 is also default poll. And the access token in here, you need past, past the access token that you copied the system method OTA, just past it here. And the GPS location, you can select it by hardware and you can publish, publish inter, internal, you can click one second. And you need import the CS certificate file here. And after you finish, you just click uh, submit. And if your configuration is correct, you will see the connection status connect. Of course, sometimes you are, you, you can connect to the CSMS OTA very, very smooth. Maybe you have some network or some uh, certification issue. So you can click the debug mode and uh, click download the debug mode. So if you have any issue or problem, the, the, text, the text file will tell you because we already connect. So the, the text is rank. Back to the PowerPoint. So now we can get the wrc 9 status in dashboard, okay? So here we back to the there. Now you can go in left side, we choose the dashboard and uh, we click the device management OTA. It will take some time to read the data. So you can see the WRC IPA is here. You can see the, the active is true. You also can see the RSSI, the signal strength, the model name, and the firmware version. Yes, and you can also see the device map here. And because our our WRC IPA is dated, not, not moving. So we simulate uh, data here, you can see the bus roadmap. So if you are due to our device, if you install in the bus or in the train, you can see the path, the route path map. So you also can click device, so it will show you 
another information, you can also see the alarm, also see the strength, LT statistic. You you have uh, installed the SIM card in your device. So the, the last page is our next time webinar, 12, 19. Okay, so uh, welcome to join us. So the, the today's, today's demo is finished. Any question? And so if, if you don't have any questions, so remember to join us our next webinar. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.